Hello, I'm Only Coach here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are building an exhibit for American beavers. Or European, it doesn't really matter. So, um, this is a very American exhibit. It's a lot of concrete and a lot of cobblestone stuff, and not really natural. And as far as I know, that is referred to as being American. So, uh, don't take offense in that. But it's just a building style in Zeus. Um, yeah. But it's still, uh, it looks a lot like a reference image I used. I'm not sure what who it was. I didn't save it because I'm stupid. But um, it looked a lot like this. So the activity itself is, eh, it's very boring, but still as detailed as it should be. There aren't a whole lot of other details I could have added, I think. So, yeah. This goes to show that it doesn't always have to be super detailed. If it just looks right, it's also fine. Not saying that this build is amazing and perfect, because it really isn't, but it is what I wanted it to be. So, <laughs> that's that. Uh, once again, uh, walls made out of columns. I just keep on doing that because I just really enjoy the effect it gives. Very smooth new uh, walls. Though I know that we might be getting a new building set soon. Not made by me, but made by someone else. Which has curved and stuff, so ooh, that will be fun. I'll be playing around with that a whole lot once it actually gets released. Um, but that's for another day. We add detailing posts and stuff to the to the post of the glass and make a very weird roof made out of logs and stuff because I figured eh, let's do something different for once let's not do the same roof every time because that also gets old because I made my building sets because the roofs I kept seeing were always the same so to then always use the same roof myself would be very dumb so yeah we make it out of uh, a framing of locks and then adding locks onto it. And not all locks are perfectly spaced together, some have uh, little gaps in between them just to make it a bit more realistic and stuff and let some light through. I think that's a cool effect. Uh, the water I used in this exhibit is also some kind of weird biome I do not know the name of because my game is not completely in English. Um, but it kind of gives this gravel effect at the edges of the water, which I think is cool. It's something different. The texture isn't the most amazing, it isn't very detailed, but it gets the idea across. And like I said, it's different from what we normally see. And this uh, looks better in combination with all of the cobblestone and the concrete we will be using later on than the normal dirt texture, so that's nice. It gives this, uh, this very zoo feel. Not a natural feel of an exhibit, but more of a real man-made kind of ID. Uh, the building itself, eh. In the end I do kind of like it, but for the longest time I really hated it because I did not know what to do for it. I make it out of the same cobblestone the rest of the fence is built, so it's not... Yeah, it blends in very well with the fence, but that also makes it very boring and repetitive. So I started adding pillars and stuff, because at first I was like, okay, let's throw some wood in there, but yeah, we're building an exhibit for beavers. Having lots of wood in there is not a good idea. So we settle for concrete and stuff, which in the end does look kind of neat, because we make uh, details, but we'll get back to that later, because right now I'm also making this heap of branches on the side of the exhibit, which is something I saw in real life exhibits uh, a couple of times. It's just so that the employees and stuff can throw branches in there once they're needed because that's enrichment for the beavers and stuff, and that's also necessary. And I make these weird vine things on posts on the wall, because that's something I also saw in the same reference image, and it does not look good in game, but oh uh, well, sometimes we gotta try stuff. And then when we try it, we can find out whether or not it looks good, and in this case it does not, <laughs> so <laughs> lesson learned. Uh, yeah, the foliage of the exhibit of the little islands we have is not really good. It's very basic, but I didn't want it to be spectacular because we can't really have bushes and trees because once again, they're beavers. 
And if they only have a little piece of land, they will just eat up everything they can find. So that's why it's just grasses and rocks. Uh, we changed it up a little. We made a different gate than normally. This is a gate inspired by the gates uh, Soundwave Gaming makes. A great up and coming uh, YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, I really liked that effect. So it's different from the normal uh, gate views. Because the normal gate views is also once again made out of wood. So that wouldn't really work. So this is uh, something different and it fits the building. So yeah, here you see me uh, tinkering around with the uh, concrete. It doesn't really work because the concrete needs to go to the bottom of the of the water. So we try to achieve that by just placing lots of them in random places because... And yeah, the mod is not a great made, so... <laughs> it's not made for uh, this kind of stuff. So, oh well. In hindsight, I could have maybe just changed the tank wall I used into a concrete one and then placed pillars on top of it. So do it the other way around and I'm doing it now, but oh well. I wanted to try it this way and I didn't think of it doing it the other way to be fair. <laughs> uh, I make these little curbs because the actual uh, path is made out of this dirt kind of texture which is different and it fits the style of this exhibit I feel. And the foliage is very dark and very northern hemisphere kind of ish. <laughs> that's not that's not a good explanation. It's very boreal and stuff in Sutekun terms. Lots of, um, what's it called? What are they called? Pine trees. Pine trees. Lots of pine trees. But also still the city is stuff and such. But very dark textures. Which is what I like. Uh, yeah, here you see me doing some detailing because, yeah, the building was too boring. I needed something to make it look realistic. So I added these kind of slits. I guess there are windows or ventilation things, who knows, but it's something you see a lot in these boring industrial buildings. So yeah, that's the beaver exhibit. <laughs> um, yeah, not the best, but also not my worst, so it's average. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching. We, By the way, we reached 500 subscribers, I forgot to say that. Woo! Hooray! <laughs> We're already up to 530, so that's insane. Yes, thank you everyone. Let's hope uh, that we can reach a next milestone soon. Who knows? Um, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.